So, uh, yo, do you, uh, do you want to tell us about who you are and what you do? So, my name is Andrew Dyer, uh, same name. Um, I'm a junior generalist at DNIC, and I work with other Andrew as well. Um, <laughs> double Andrews, yeah, no, right. Yeah, double Andrews. Um, yeah, I just make CG stuff, and I get paid for it, pretty how, much. How did you get in there, like? Like why do you, uh, why do you do CG? I did it as a hobby, like in high school and stuff, and then I decided to scrap doing computer science stuff and just do this instead because it's more fun. Okay, and uh, so you went you went to Think Tank, right? I did. Why I did, did you pick Think Tank? because uh, I wanted to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So, <laughs> so well, it, it's I would say it's the best school in vancouver yeah. like without a doubt um and i went to a really shitty school can i swear sorry <laughs> yeah, yeah of course not swear, okay. swear as much as you want man yeah so i went to a really shitty school before think tank okay and, maybe um, don't they maybe don't say what the school is but oh no it doesn't exist anymore oh, okay you can you can swear <laughs> it then it's all right then i, I won't say the name still uh, all right but it, it was really shitty uh and then i was like i just want to get a job so I went to Think Tank, and then when the robot on the screen was finished, the green light, like the internship at DNIG, um, was happening. Yeah. And then John, like John Katapia, who I think most people know in the chat, yeah. he told us all at the school to apply for it, and I'm still here a year later. So <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So obviously John, he's an instructor there, right? So was he your mentor or anything like that, or like... No, no. He was supposed to be. Okay. Uh, he was supposed to be, but I, uh, I wasn't quick enough to like lock him down as my mentor. Okay. Um, but yeah, I I didn't really have much to do with him at school. Like, yep. I would see him and like say hi to him, but not. We we didn't talk that much. Oh, okay, fair enough. So then you uh you applied for the Dina Greenlight thing, and then uh, yeah. you won and you got the internship. I did. I did. How how did you find the internship? Like not not when you got hired, but like the internship mm. itself. I was really stressful because they just throw everything at you and expect you to to keep up. And I think it's kind of if you can't keep up, then you can't handle it in a way. Yeah. So. So it's pretty brutal. Damn, that's pretty intense. It's know? really it's really brutal. So um, yeah, like for everyone that didn't know, they um with the green light thing, they pick a group of people. And then they only hired a percentage of those people. So yeah, it I felt think, really cutthroat, right? Yeah, there was like, I, I would assume a hundred, like hundreds of people who applied for it at the beginning. Yeah. And then it just like narrows down, narrows down. And then, yeah, only, I think only three of us got in. Yeah. And then two, two survived. <laughs> survived. <laughs> did you, um, did you have to be Canadian to do the green yes. thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. you had to like PR or Canadian citizen. So, I mean, I was kind of disappointed because most of the people I know couldn't apply for it. But okay, yeah, it's you know, it's still a good opportunity for yeah, for sure, Canadian people. I mean, I guess that is just how it is. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's also another thing like to think about. Like when it comes to studios hiring, especially juniors. Like, um, they have to, especially if they don't, like, it's hard for a studio to uh, justify getting a visa for someone with no experience. So it's even yeah. harder. Because, yeah, the, yeah. Gr the green lighters were paid. So you were paid, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we it was a, a paid internship. So you would technically need a visa for, like, an intern. So I yeah, can for see, six weeks. I can see why that would they wouldn't do it for non-Canadian people. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that like a lot of the big, like the huge studios, like the, I don't want to call them out, but I think they do the internships for like tax reasons too. Oh yeah, for or sure. Something. Like they're kind of required. Yeah. I mean, um, that, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. But I mean, I'll still take it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you totally deserved it, man. Like your work is, your work is fucking amazing. It's all right. <laughs> it's <just kind laughs> nah, of... it's pretty damn good, man. For, for someone out of school, this is pretty damn amazing, man. Why did you pick this robot? Uh, I wasn't going to originally, because um, I, I, 
it was all thanks to my mentor who picked it for wait, me. Wait, who is your mentor? Uh, in the art station page, if you do read more, his name is Pierre. Um, he works at the Coalition for Gears of War. This dude? Um, yeah, yeah. Or Pete, yeah, him. Oh, cool. So he he was my mentor. And nice. He, he was really good. Sick. I mean, yeah, his work's pretty good. Mm -hmm. he, he's a really, really good artist. Um, what I like yeah. about like your portfolio piece is kind of the fact that it's like a mix of organic and hard surf. Like, it's not just purely hard surface focus like mine. Is. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I picked it. Because yeah. um, I, I like clothing a lot, like, I guess, fashion stuff. Yeah. So I wanted to do, like, a, like some form of clothing in it. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, that I'll, I'll never make a, a puffer jacket like that again. But, <laughs> really? Um, no, why? it's absolute hell. Really? Yeah. In Marvelous, it's absolute hell. Um, yeah. Damn. But uh, how long did you spend on this? This, I think it was exactly, no, like seven and a half months. Seven um, months, damn, that's quite a while, man. Yeah. But I, I guess, yeah. a part of your schooling, like how much of that was actually like, like learning the program and how much of it was actually doing the work itself? I think... The majority of the time was like retopo on like the zebra sculpt for him. I don't um, know. I mean, like your time at Think Tank itself. Oh, like how oh, much of that was uh, actually like learning programs and stuff? Probably like a third of the time um, Damn, on okay. this project. Yeah. Because I was at the school for a year, and yeah. the first four months is like they're like, oh, you get to learn whatever you don't know, but you don't know. Anything. what you don't know kind of thing yeah for sure like so you kind of waste four months just you know fucking around in zbrush just making cool stuff yeah um but yeah so at the beginning when you start doing this it becomes like a wake-up call like oh i actually know nothing yeah for sure and then you have to learn really fast so <laughs> i sorry oh did you feel when you got into the industry you hit that again where you realize you don't know anything yeah, I still know nothing. <laughs> like, Man, I don't. I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I like on the asset I'm doing at work. Like oh, you yeah. saw it. Obviously, like, you don't when, say too much about it. But yeah, no. Yeah, it, it's it's a it's a cool asset. Um, but when I'm like inspecting it, I'm like, I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> like, oh my god! Like this is like, why am I here? Kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I think everybody has that to an extent. Yeah. Um, I just don't know how to deal with it properly yet i guess as like a junior oh yeah you'll I, get used to it yeah sure. i think it's just lack of confidence with like pipeline or just like you know just junior stuff yeah for sure and one of the things i really like about this is your breakdown i think like your breakdown is your strongest thing oh thanks the fact <laughs> the fact that you went to like so much effort to like fully show you everything and like articulating stuff and stuff like that i think is super cool yeah i wanted to to document it like partially for myself and for other people. Yeah. Cuz like I know everybody's like, "Oh, hard surface is just beveling cubes and stuff." Yeah, but for sure. Once you get into like stuff how things like move this, and stuff. Yeah, I would say it's it's like on par with like rotating someone's elbow kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, so I, I just wanted to help other people too. And then for the future I can always look back and be like, "Oh, look how bad I was in yeah. this breakdown." But this isn't bad, man. Like, I, I don't know how to do the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of patience. But yeah, for like for people out there, like wondering how to like stand out, I think this is definitely one of the main things is to show. Like, you can work in a production. You have production thinking. Like, you didn't just make a pretty render. Like, you showed like you knew like the process of how to like problem solve. Like, you know, bending joints and stuff like that. Yeah, that was. Um, like at Think Tank, when I talked to John the one time, like yeah. before the mentorship, um, what really stuck out to me was him, like, he said, like, just do it right once and, yeah. like, make sure it's done good, yeah. even if it takes longer. Um, and, like, always think about production stuff. Oh, for sure. So that definitely stuck with me throughout it. Because that's the thing so. a lot of people don't, like, students especially don't really think about is the fact that, like, when we're at work, we're not really, like, creating art, we're creating, like, no. a product. No, and a lot of people making... don't think about that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
I agree. We're like contractors at work. Yeah, for exactly. Like we're we we're contractors, like contracted to build a house. Like you know, pretty much. Like yeah. modeling, we're like the bricklayer or the plumber or something like that. And then another discipline is like you know, the tiler and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it, exactly like that. It's not our job to redesign the house. <laughs> we just we put yeah. down the we put down the piece that they uh that they need. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Do you uh do you want to go into some of these questions? Oh God, yeah. There are some good ones. Yeah, no, they're really good, actually. I yeah, mean, the. Do you want to do what? Do you want to do the couch one first? <laughs> you can do the couch <laughs> one. If you want, the, the iconic, the iconic uh, stream question. Yeah, is the couch right. organic or hard surface to you? So I was thinking about this. Yeah. There's all these other questions that I should have thought of more, but I was thinking <laughs> about the couch. Um, I know. Right. I'm I'm going to say organic. Organic. Okay. okay. Yes, because if I were to be doing it, I would make like a very quick block out in Maya. And then use ZBrush for like the rest, and do like um, an organic workflow. So your definition of if it's organic or hard surface is purely based on the workflow of creating it, not what the end result is. Yes. Oh. Because okay. like, well, like for the sculpt that that's like on the screen right now, yeah. Like it's hard surface, but it's an organic workflow. It's but not I, like. You, but you wouldn't say that. So you wouldn't just straight up say this is hard surface, because you don't. Think... You don't need ZBrush to make this. No. No. Okay. This is this question has really expanded into. <laughs> into some... No, no, it's just, it's just a fun question that we always have. So, only with the um, what's it called? With the couch, I think the couch is for me is organic. Okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, yeah. fair enough then. Um, yeah. someone we already kind of top, touched on this, but someone says, "How did you get the opportunity? What have you done to get there?" So, you obviously went through the green light program. Mm -hmm. You did well at. You did well at um, in the internship, and then they asked you to come back for the full time job. So that yeah. that was pretty much it. Um, let's see. Someone says how to convince with your folio, like you're good enough when they ask for three years of experience, but you don't have experience. How do you convince them? Like yeah, so you know how like year? you know how for example like jobs, like for example you want to apply for a job that says you require three years of experience. But you don't have three years of experience. How? What right. do you think about that? I don't know. Just apply. Like Honest, uh, honestly, what Andrew said there is probably correct. Just apply. Like, just like, like, what's the worst that can happen? You get yeah, rejected. Yeah, exactly. Like, you just cry for one night and move on. I don't know. Like, to to me, it's just like just apply. Like, you can't lose anything. Yeah, for sure. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but no, like, I. I I agree with that because I honestly I think the uh, the three year thing or whatever is kind of just to deter people from applying. Yeah, because I've I've applied for jobs that have said like three years, and they've gotten back to me, and there's been jobs that have been juniors and they say I don't have enough experience for them. Yeah. So just I don't apply. think. Yeah, it's like who cares? Like, fuck it, just do it anyways. I remember. That's what I would say. It's funny because I remember there's something floating around on LinkedIn where there was this dude that had created a a programming thing, right? Mm -hmm. And apparently he created the programming, I can't remember what it was specifically, he created it like two years ago. And apparently the recruiter requested he had five years of experience in the thing that had only existed for two years. <laughs> so like, a lot of the time, like this, sh this shit doesn't really matter, you should just apply. Like, yeah. Like it really yeah. doesn't matter if they if you they turn you down it doesn't matter, but if they look at your portfolio anyway and they see like oh, good like maybe we'll give this dude a shot like it's totally worth it. So yeah, yeah, just apply. That being said, I know I've seen jobs on LinkedIn where it's like oh here's an intro level job. You need three years of experience. You need to know model texture, look dev, groom, rigging, animation, lighting. <laughs> rendering and you need to have like That's like bullshit. four oscars under your belt yeah and it's like why like i know like it, that, that i don't agree with yeah i think it's i think it's just bullshit like i think it is to deter people from applying i think so yeah so they'll only like, get the cream of the crop i guess so yeah the sure. unicorn yeah 